you know, obviously we had finals week this past week here at uh, at Miami. Um, didn't practice a ton leading up. Honestly, we had three days off, two days off in a row, and I gave them another extra day just to be able to focus on finals. Uh, you know, I, I think sometimes fans and – and people forget, you know, our, our young men are, are student athletes, right? So they uh, they got to take a full course, uh, full full load of courses. And uh, I wanted to make sure our guys finished out strong academically here, with hopes of us getting back. Obviously, a guy like Kamari uh, Williams here here very 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 soon. So um, I thought, you know, I told our guys going into this game, it's you know respecting the game. Doesn't matter who we play; it's a faceless opponent. We want to play the right way, and on making the right plays, being unselfish, playing hard. You know, again, respecting respecting the game. And I thought our guys started off the game really well. I thought our ball really moved today. I thought we got back to that, and we got to continue to do that every game. I thought against Indiana State, we set the tone the wrong way on the offensive end early uh, by taking some selfish shots, um, and we had some sloppy turnovers early on against Indiana State. Uh, I thought our offense really played well today when we took care of the ball. We went through that little segment in the second half where we turned the ball over, and it led to, led to easy layups and threes for. Uh, for Calumet, um, again we we were we were a little shorthanded. You know, obviously Ryan didn't play second half. Uh, just being cautious with his foot, he's fine, but his foot was bothering him a little bit. And I just wanted to make sure that we were putting him in a good position moving forward. Um, but I thought Anderson did a great job. I thought he uh, he was uh, he was poised out there. Made made some terrific passes. Scored the ball inside. Morgan was terrific as well. I thought just with his defense and his uh, his leadership and his ability to get to the rim, uh, I thought he was really good. So, you know, for us, man, it's a quick turnaround. Obviously, we got Cincinnati on Wednesday, um, so we're going to turn the page very very quickly here. You did. You've got that stretch coming up now. This was the first of three games in seven days. Um, you mentioned Ryan's foot got Etzler back. Um, uh, how do you feel like your team overall is geared up physically for this? Yeah, so I, I think we'll have Kamari back. Uh, I'm hoping Wednesday. You know, I really am once these grades get posted. You know, we're at the little bit of the uh, – it's in the hands of the professors, you know, whenever they put the grades in. So uh, – but he, yeah, I think he's had a really good semester here academically. So um, I, I would hope that he'll be able to play on Wednesday. Julian Lewis, you know, sprained his ankle, uh, had a bad sprain the day before Indiana State, so he didn't play in the Indiana State game either. Uh, you know, I, I would anticipate him playing against Cincinnati. Uh, I'd be shocked if he doesn't. Uh, I think it felt better today. Uh, it's been kind of gradual. And then Ryan, you, you mentioned Ryan. Like, I, I was just being cautious. I just wanted to make sure. I was like, listen, we already got Julian, who's been out. Uh, you know, Kamari's been out due to academics. Uh, so, you know, just wanted to make sure we're being cautious with Ryan moving forward. So I think he'll be fine, too. He should play against Cincinnati. Was there anything you didn't see out there today that you had hoped to? Um, I thought our communication and ball screens was just okay early. Um, I thought it got better as the game went on, though, uh, for sure. Um, you know, I, I, I wish we would have taken care of the ball better. I thought we were a little sloppy, a little careless with the ball. I think we ended up with 15 turnovers, and I thought a lot of them were self-inflicted. Uh, you know, we had 23 turn or assists, which is a great number, uh, but I think that, that assist number would have been even higher if we <laughs> take care of the ball. So, because they, they got them out in transition. I think they scored 17 of their points, right? 17 of their 49 points were off our turnovers. So it's like, man, you take care of the ball, then all of a sudden, man, our defensive numbers look even more impressive. Coach, this is the second time this season you shot over 50%, almost shooting 60%. Can you touch on that? Yeah. You know, I've said it before. I think great shooting teams are great passing teams. I think when our ball moves, that's how, that's what we're predicated on. We're, we always say we have a couple identities. On offense, we want to be first 10, last 10, which is we want to operate in the first 10 seconds of the shot clock. And then if we can't get anything open threes or open laps, then we want to play in the last 10 seconds of the shot clock. So that means you're getting player movement and ball movement. Right? And I think when you do those things and you share the ball with the offensive firepower that we have, I, mean, I think we're going to shoot the ball really, really, really well. So I thought the quality of looks that we had were really, really good tonight. Uh, so, Makai, um, what do you think the team as a whole gets out of a game like that? Uh, like we talked about all week throughout practice, this is more about us and not the opponent. Uh, we just want to focus up, tighten up the things we need to focus on, defense, take care of the ball and executing our offense, and uh, I felt like we did a good job of that tonight. You have a tough stretch coming up now. This is your first of uh, three games in seven days after, you know, you had the week off for exams and everything. Um, 
how do you feel like the team is shaping up physically at this point? I feel like we're starting to, you know, we're starting to get healthy. We're starting to get bodies back, get guys back. I was going to take it one day at a time, making sure we're getting in with the trainer, uh, taking care of our bodies and doing everything necessary, you know, to stay healthy and be on top come January. The message you talked about during the week, um, I'm assuming the captains kind of led the way on that. How much did that derive from uh, your, the game before that? Uh, you know, the captains, us three, me, Anderson, and Morgan, you know, we've been in college basketball for some years now, so we, knows, we know what it takes, especially on the road, a big game like Cincinnati. So, you know, we'll make sure we're ready, get the guys ready, and that we're locked in for Wednesday.